continuing to follow that breaking news tonight from northwest suburbs. Crews are still on the scene of a massive fire that broke out earlier at a bank in Bloomingdale, and it's still burning. Yeah, and this one started when an SUV crashed into the building's natural gas line. WGN Shannon Halligan joining us live with more on this tonight. Shannon. Yeah, firefighters have been pouring water on this fire since a little after five this evening. It is a bitter cold night for these crews who are out here fighting this fire, as well as for customers who are coming and stopping by to check on some very valuable and irreplaceable items that are stored at the bank. A chain reaction. Bloomingdale firefighters and several surrounding crews rushed to the Chase Bank on Lake Street just minutes after the bank closed. Officials say the driver of this car told investigators she inadvertently stepped on the gas instead of the brake. The car crashed into the building and severed a gas line. She and everyone else made it out of the bank safely before the gas caused an explosion. Thank God no one else was in the bank at that point or no one was in close proximity, so we were lucky with the time aspect. Um, and, and no one was seriously hurt. The director of public safety for the Bloomingdale Police Department said it could take hours, though, to get the gas shut off and the fire extinguished. They have to dig probably five to six feet into the ground to shut this gas line off. So, and that obviously is going to help put this fire out. So they're going to keep water on it until the gas line shut off. Dean Carcello saw the fire at his longtime bank on the news and rushed out to see what was happening for himself. He has a safe deposit box with very important items inside. I got my uh, DD-214 Army papers, you know, in there, my wife's uh, birth certificate. And she's from uh, an island near uh, in Okinawa. And I went all the way over there to get the birth certificate. So, you yeah, know, that would be a problem. Others with valuables inside are hopeful the deposit boxes are safe, but are worried. That's what I don't know. So we, I came here, I'm hoping like some chase rep is going to come here and to tell us like if there, there's going to be any interruption of the services or when we'll be able to look at our deposits, uh, things like that. And as you can see, those flames and smoke still coming from that fire at this Chase Bank off of uh, Lake Street in Bloomingdale. Uh, also, that car that is involved in that, you can see, is just completely covered in a sheet of ice. Representatives from Chase Bank are expected to come out here. Once that fire is put out, they'll be able to check to see the extent of the damage. And there are closures that remain in place on Lake Street in Bloomingdale until this is completely extinguished. Live in Bloomingdale. Shannon Halligan, WGN News. All right. Thanks so much, Shannon.